To start the eye makeup for this design, you're going to want to apply the dark blue from the Paradise Brilliant line to your lid and to your crease. And make sure the paint's not too wet when you do this because you don't want it dripping into your eyes. Also apply it to your bottom lash line. Next, take the light blue from the Paradise Brilliant line and apply it to your crease. And if you flip your brush onto its edge like I did here, the two colors should blend together pretty easily. And obviously, if you're doing this on a child, you could just quickly apply color with a sponge. You don't have to use a brush. To complete the base of your eyeshadow, take any metallic white you have, I'm using tag here, and apply it to your brow bone and inner corner of your eye. I decided to use powders to further blend the colors and help set the face paint. And I'm using a Ben Nye blue color. It has a metallic sheen to it. And just pack that onto your lids and then blend it up into your crease using a fluffy brush. Next, set the light blue in your crease and the shimmering white color on your brow bone with powder and then blend those together as well. And I got inspired to do this video by the lovely Shauna D. And I will put a link to her Frozen video down below if you'd like to check hers out. It's so pretty and amazing. You should go check it out. To finish off the eyes, line your waterline with any white eyeliner you have. And then I took white face paint and coated my eyelashes with white just to give the whole look a more frosty look. Uh, be careful when you do this though because it burns if it gets in your eyes. And finally, I tipped my lashes in glitter. Now onto the face paint. I'm using the dark blue from the Paradise Brilliant line again, as well as an Always Wicked Art sponge. Just apply a small circle in the center of your forehead, as well as to your temples. And then blend the color, curving up towards your forehead. As you can see, these colors are so pretty. Oh my gosh. The Paradise Brilliant line is really beautiful and it blends easily too. Now apply the light blue to your cheekbones and make sure to fade the color down underneath your eyes so that it ends nice and soft. You don't want any harsh edges. Also apply to your forehead and fade the color down towards the circle. And to fade more easily, just simply softly pat the colors together. Finally, take metallic white and fade it down the center of your nose and then in between the blue and light blue colors. And the white will do a really good job of softening everything and blending everything together. I decided to wipe away the harsh edges down there to create a really nice soft line. For the snowflakes, I got inspired by another YouTube video and I'll put a link to that one down below as well. You're gonna start with a dot and then from the dot, you're gonna flare out four points, just like you would do a starburst. So put pressure and then as you come out, lift up from your brush until there's no pressure. In between the four long starbursts, you're gonna put four more shorter flares coming out. Then in between each flare, connect them with V shapes and make sure to start your next V where your last V ended so that they're all even going around. Add dots to the end of each V and then also to the end of your small flares. To finish the snowflake, you're going to flick your brush out to create V's on the ends of your flares on your long flares. Do two V's as you see here and on your short flares, only do one V. 
and do that all the way around your snowflake. If you'd like, you can take some glitter gel and add it to all of your little dots and it looks like they're sparkling with little jewels. It's so pretty. To finish off the snowflake, add some body glue and a jewel for extra sparkle. Snowflakes are a bit time consuming, so I decided to use a BAM stencil to speed the whole process up. And as always, just make sure you're using sticky dry paint with the stencil or it'll bleed everywhere. And place the snowflakes randomly around your face. What you do on one side, mirror on the other, and try to cluster them together so that they have a sparkling, pretty effect. You don't want them to be too far apart. You can either do the stenciled snowflakes all around your eyes or you can do what I did and have two more hand painted snowflakes on each temple and these are just the same exact snowflakes as the one on my forehead just a little bit smaller. So do your eight flares, connect them with your V's and then flick out on the ends and you'll be done with those. And of course, add jewels and glitter gel for extra sparkle. To help fill an empty space and give the whole design a more sparkling effect, add starbursts wherever there's room. The more you put, the more sparkly it'll look and the more magical it'll look. Just remember to use a really light hand so they're delicate and not fat and sloppy. Just use the very tip of your brush to do them. Finally, add body glue and crystals to the center of each snowflake and you're done. All right, you guys, so that is it. I hope that you like it and that you could use it at an event soon. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, my link to my Facebook page, plus all the supplies I used in this video are listed down below. Have a great Christmas, everybody, and I will see you soon. Bye.